This recipe for Italian bread bowls is from All Recipes member Carrie Scrudland, who notes, these cute little bread bowls are a great way to serve soup in the wintertime. I usually serve a hearty potato soup when I have the time to bake them. Into the bowl of a stand mixer, add two and a half cups of warm water. The water should be approximately 110 degrees in order to activate the yeast. Dissolve two quarter ounce packages of active dry yeast in the warm water. Let this stand for about 10 minutes until it's creamy. Then add two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of vegetable oil. And four cups of all-purpose flour to the yeast mixture. Beat this well. Stir in another three cups of flour, half a cup at a time, beating well after each addition. Scrape down the sides as necessary. When the dough has pulled together, turn it out onto a lightly floured surface. Knead it for about six minutes or until the dough is smooth and elastic. Lightly oil a large bowl and place the dough in the bowl, turning it to coat all sides with oil. Cover the bowl with a damp cloth and let the dough rise in a warm place for about 40 minutes until it has doubled in volume. Lightly grease two baking sheets and dust them with cornmeal. Then punch the dough down. Divide the dough into eight equal portions. Shake each portion into a four inch round loaf. Place the loaves on the baking sheets. Cover them with a damp cloth and let them rise in a warm place for about 35 minutes until they double in size. While the loaves are rising, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. In a small bowl, Beat one egg white with a tablespoon of water. Lightly brush the loaves with half of this egg wash. Bake the bread in the preheated oven for 15 minutes. Take them out of the oven and brush with the remaining egg wash. Return the bread to the oven and continue to bake for 10 to 15 minutes or until it's golden. Cool the bread loaves on wire racks. To make the bowls, cut a half inch thick slice from the top of each loaf. and scoop out the centers, leaving three quarter inch thick shells. Fill the bread bowls with hot soup and serve immediately. All Recipes member Tracy comments, these were absolutely awesome. Made exactly as stated and they turned out wonderful with chili.
Thank you for a great recipe.